In the very beginning, I didn't even know what goat meant. I remember being at a shoot and people kept saying, oh, the goat is here, the goat is here. Yes, that's right. After making a comeback, a late one, mind you, last season, Simone Biles received her fourth Lorellis World Sports Award. Well, we really shouldn't expect anything less from her, given that she's the GOAT, greatest of all time. Although, funnily enough, however weird Simone may find it, she is indeed the GOAT. After all, she is the most decorated gymnast in history. In light of this, probably one of the most frequently asked questions today is, will Simone Biles add another Olympic medal to her already remarkable collection? Will we actually see a recreation of that picture in Paris? As you all know, the last Olympic Games was kind of a traumatic experience for Biles, which understandably was a little hard for her to talk about. But with only 80 days or so until the opening ceremony of the Paris 2024 Olympic Games, the gymnast superstar is speaking more candidly than ever about her experience at Tokyo 2020 and 2021. And that's not the worst of it. In the 90-minute interview on Call Her Daddy, the popular American podcast hosted by Alex Cooper, Biles, a seven-time Olympic medalist, revealed new details about her experience at her second games where she withdrew from several finals as she dealt with a condition where the body and mind fall out of sync, referred to by gymnast as the twisties. She tried so much so that... Unfortunately, even her drive to overcome the twisties was not enough and she had to withdraw from the remaining events. But one day during her break from gymnastics, Biles sat across a table from her coaches, Cecile and Laurent Landy, and told them, I want to go back to the Olympics. Both of them shot down the idea. Simone recalled, they were like, no, you've set expectations for yourself for so long, let's just go back in the gym, get in shape and see what happens. Of course, she agreed. After returning to intermittent training in September 2022 for the first time in more than a year, she began doing two-a-days at the start of 2023 and really ramped it up after her wedding last May. Biles, already a 32-time medalist between the Olympics and World Championships, had a simple reason for wanting to return to competition. I don't want to be down the road in 10 years, look back and be like, oh, I wish I would have tried, she said. Come August 2023, she was back competing and won the all-around at all three of her 2023 meets and earned gold medals at October's World Championships. Needless to say, she made her comeback to the sport with an absolute flourish. After Simone competed internationally for the first time since taking a two-year break from the sport to focus on her mental health, the multi-medal winning Olympic gymnast came back with confidence and style winning four gold medals in the World Championships in October, including a record sixth all-around title. She also became the first woman to land the Yurachenko double pike in competition, which is rated as the most difficult jump in women's gymnastics. Earlier in the year, she had won a record eighth U.S. all-around title to break the 90-year-old U.S. gymnastics title record previously held by Alfred Yakim. Already the most decorated gymnast of all time, her Olympic and World Championship medals totaled to 37. That's not all. Simone was the winner of the Lorella Sports Woman of the Year Award in 2017, 2019, and 2020. And surprise, surprise, Biles is once again the recipient of the prestigious award. A couple of days ago, Simone Biles was announced as the Lorellis World Comeback of the Year Award winner by Lorellis Academy member Li Xiaopeng at the historic Palacio de Sebeles in the heart of Madrid. Just so you know, it is her fourth career Lorellis World Sports Award and her first in the comeback category. For those wondering why her speech was pre-recorded, listen to this. And I also want to say that I'm so sorry that I couldn't be there in person. I'm back in Houston training, but I'm sending all my love. So thank you guys so much. And here's to 2024. Although she was previously nominated for Comeback of the Year in 2022, after she returned from the twisties to earn Olympic balance beam bronze, it was British skateboarder Sky Brown who won that year. Still, Biles has won Sports Woman of the Year three times second most in history behind Serena Williams. Anyhow, it is no secret that Simone Biles' comeback in the past year has been one of the most eventful occurrences in the sporting world.
from enthusiast to fellow gymnast, the world is now rooting for her potential entrance to the Paris Olympics as she powers through various rehearsals. Having added another feather to her cap with a prestigious award, she's just continuing to cement her name in history books. The 2024 Lorellis World Comeback of the Year Award has some tough contenders this season. From 29-year-old footballer Sebastian Haller to South African rugby union player Seiya Kolisi, all nominees had a heart-wrenching story of their comebacks. But the star gymnast swept through to the top and was declared this year's winner. This year's prize was extremely special for the star gymnast, who has been all over the media talking about a possible return to the Olympics. Only this time, she's calmer, more composed, and driven by her love for the sport over everything else. In a candid conversation with Alex Cooper, who asked her if she had Paris as her upcoming milestone, she said, If all goes well in training, yeah. But for now, it was time for the gymnast to rejoice and look forward to new avenues. Her award comes as a perfect welcome gesture as her next chapter at the U.S. Classics nears. Meanwhile, the sporting world has been celebrating her win with encouraging messages. Four-time Olympic gold medalist Michael Johnson praised Biles for her example. It's not new that this is a very difficult position to be in, to be an athlete competing in front of millions of people with all of the expectation. It's not new. It's always been very difficult for athletes, he said. But it has been very refreshing to see that now fans can accept that this is very difficult and sometimes athletes need to take time off. He added how he thought Biles back in 2021 during the Olympics was just an amazing moment not only for sport, but also for people outside of it. You saw people outside of sport as well start to realize that this is important. Johnson further noted, Mental health is important, and so having that conversation, I think, has been fantastic, and another example of where sport can be in areas of society that are really important for people. Simone herself knows how important it was to take a step back and prioritize her mental health. And when she came back, she was well and ready to be on the mat again, which is pretty obvious with the number of medals she claimed last year, along with the Lorellis Award she recently claimed. Jonathan Owens recently reacted to his wife Simone Biles' award win at the 2024 Lorellis Award ceremony. Owens, being a lifelong supporter of Biles, appreciated this achievement. The Chicago Bears player shared a reel dedicated to Biles by Lorellis' official Instagram page on his story with several emojis as the caption. Now the question is, when will Simone actually start competing this season? Well, USA Gymnastics announced in early April that Biles will compete in the U.S. Classic set for May 17th and 18th in Hartford, Connecticut. It will be her first competition on her road to Paris 2024. What do you think will happen then? Will we be seeing her in Paris? Will we be seeing this athlete in Paris?